Our first guest is a lovely and talented actress who has her friends follow me around sometimes and report back to her is what she says. She can be seen every Tuesday on the series Gilmore Girls. It's over. <sighs> no more finals, no more studying, no more school. The pressure's off. Do you know how much pressure I felt? Do you? All last week I felt like a giant man and his brother were sitting on my chest. A giant man? And his giant brother. Did they have names? Clem and Clem. <laughs> Same names, which did not reflect well in the imagination of their mothers. Mother. Mothers. There were two Clems. Yeah, because they were brothers. Yes, so they had mothers. Are you drawing me into your drunken world? It's not a bad place to be, my friend. Mm -mm. Tank's empty. Please welcome Warren Graham. Nice to see you. Uh, last time you were here, you did mention something about your friends, your friends following me, or something bizarre. How, how did you explain that? Listen, I find your life fascinating, and I can't get enough of it. And, no, I feel that I feel that it's been fun for me to kind of, you know, see you out in the world and then report back. But then there was a period of time where I didn't see you, so I had a friend check in, and she saw you with your decorator, and that was embarrassing. For you, but, um, it's not embarrassing for me. I was, oh, no. I was Everybody sitting. Everybody should in, have a decorator. I was sitting in a chair. Yeah, I was you were checking out a nice club chair <laughs> somewhere, and yeah, right. Not, All right. not funny. But um, <laughs> we did see each other. Yes. Uh, maybe a month and a half see, ago. I feel that my little like thing has backfired now because now I think you. I've made you self-conscious. It's like you know, it's like the Osborne, the later years. You know, like when yeah. they're so aware of yeah. what's happening. So when I saw you at this thing, you were so nice. No, that's me. I'm really I don't nice. Know. I'm really nice. We chatted. We did. And you were you looked festive and a good time was had by all. Yeah. Nobody got hurt. Yeah. Well, yeah, except you were like you were like, see, aren't I being nice? And I was like, Yeah, and then you look fabulous, by the way. I think you've been on like kind of a thing, like a some kind of zone situation. <laughs> I just been I've just been uh, I've been exercising more. Right. You know, I no, okay. I've been doing but this. What you said to me was I'm sorry. I was talking. I know. Go ahead. Masha knows when to shoot free throws. You should know when to shoot. <laughs> yeah. no, I was gonna say I've been doing this little program for three years, and the first year I'm concentrating on the show, and I'm not eating healthy, I'm not right. exercising. I know now I'm in year two and three, and I'm kind of coasting, and yeah. I'm exercising, <laughs> but I exercise more. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm, I feel okay. healthy. Well, yeah. what you said to me that night was that. You couldn't, you because they at the, with this weird thing they had like a vodka bar and a gin bar. Right. And you could not, you couldn't get one at the other, right. and that you had to find the vodka bar because gin had too many carbs. <laughs> Did I say that? Yes. Let me let me correct myself. Okay. I don't drink gin. Oh, I will okay. drink vodka, okay. but I've actually cut vodka out because it is made from potatoes. So I actually drink red wine. But maybe oh. maybe you were drunk and didn't hear me. <laughs> I, don't I don't know. But we can, we can we can move off of this. But yeah. I I prefer a vodka martini over a gin martini. Every, everybody in the yeah, world naturally. does. Totally. Except when you say Bombay Sapphire. Does that make it better? Does that make gin better? I just like saying that. Oh. Um, do you have any funny stories? Any funny anecdotes to tell us? Because I know um, you yeah. know you're a good. What? No. What do you mean? No. <laughs> when you Something come funny ever happens to me. Now that I'm in a place where hey, if I had a funny story, I could tell it on a talk show. Exactly. Yeah. Now nothing's funny. What do you ever? mean? I mean, it's gotten so bad because all I do is work. It's a, you yeah. know, it's really hard being on TV. Yeah. And uh, but but so now I have family members. So now my family thinks they're really funny, and they know that I'm in the funny crisis. You know. Yeah. So um, my this is just to tell stories on talk shows. You yeah, need totally. you need stories. That's what right? I live for, by the way. What talk shows? Yes. That's sad. <laughs> no, it's great. Okay. All right. <laughs> My dad calls me, and my dad is pretty funny, but he feels that I've overused, like, the same stories, like, he baked my Bluebird uniform once because the dryer broke. This is like a, a Girl Scout uniform. Like he put it in the uniform. oven because the dryer... The yeah. yeah, you told that story it. here. Yeah, exactly. See what I mean? Twice. Exactly. So, so now, so now, he, call, he, call, like, he called me the other day, knowing I was coming to see Kilby, yeah. and, ugh. Do people really call you that? What was it? Uh, for? I don't know. I said Kilby, and then I kind of just like made myself sick because like I can't call you Kilby. What would you? No, no, no. I don't mean. I, I'd love 
to call, you know. What would you rather call me? I hear, I hear Craig. Craigie. Craigie, okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you had to put an E, you know what I mean? I feel like Craigie's kind of... Go right jarky. ahead. Yeah. Anyway, so my father called me, and he was like, hey, um, you know, remember the time? He had two stories, and I'm going to tell them now. Can you stand it? I'm ready. Okay, my dad's very forgetful, and he... Um, uh, he oh, he's sort of like the guy who leaves like you know stuff on top of the car and drives off. Absent-minded. Oh, he's absent-minded. Yeah. I forgot the word. Right. And uh, so, so once he um, went on a business trip and he's on the plane and he realizes that he's wearing tuxedo pants instead of his suit pants. Oh boy. And so he spent the day sort of like covering, you know, feeling bad because the satin stripe, everyone knows. Mm -hmm. And so then on the way back on the plane, he claims this is true. I'm not really sure. But he felt that the passenger next to him was sort of eyeing him funny, and yeah. he goes, I had a gig last night. Your, your dad said he had a gig yeah. last yeah, night? my dad is like a business person. That's, okay, that's cool. One. I had okay, a gig. Then, Wait, that's good. That's the point. Should I do it again? I had, again? No, no, no. Okay. I had a gig last night. I'm a musician or yes, I'm an entertainer. Right. I had a gig last night. He's all night. screwed I'm cool. up. He doesn't know, you know, that's why blue shirt tux pants. Right, like, right. he had a gig, you know. He's, he's playing it off, playing yeah. it cool. Okay, that's my, the end of that story. My dad be okay. that's good. I just want to let him know. Slow down. But let, you know, I wanted to help sell the end of that story. And now here's the second story from dad. Is it, has it gotten this bad that I need, like, remedial talk show help? A <laughs> little bit. He's like, that's her story, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. All right, so what's number two? All right, I see, clearly, I don't know. And this one is stronger than the first one is what I hear, because you, you, you <laughs> saved the second one, the best one for second. Well, you would think if I was funny. Right. So, um, so the other one is that he, he realized in a similar kind of business situation that he gets to a meeting and it's with people who don't, whose language, first language is not English. Let's say they're... What, you want me to help? Yeah. Or, uh, what? Uh, they're from... They're the, Japanese. Japanese. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. And uh, let's say. All right. Because, I don't know. And so he uh, was having this kind of tough interview with these people and he realizes in the interview he's wearing two different shoes and and um, he does stuff like this all the time and so the woman said to him um, you know can we ask you something why are you wearing two different shoes this is not going to be better than the first one and he oh. said and he said um he said it's two different shoe day in America ah. yes That's me. The only thing in telling these yeah. in telling these two stories yeah. about your dad, mm -hmm. I would have pointed out that he's blind. <laughs> if he can't oh, see, oh yeah, that's so much fun. Yeah, cause, yeah, because yeah, he yeah. can't see the thing. Right? Yeah. All right. Now you actually have some apprehension about five questions. Well, because I stank last time. <laughs> you did what? I stank. Okay. I failed right, yeah, miserably. You stunk last time. I stunk. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you just What do you just have me on and then correct me? I'm sorry. <laughs>